Hey, what's up? I'm Norris and welcome back to another solo. Today we'll be doing the order construction for my new Nomi pattern 2023 and today we'll be doing view A, the hoodie. Now because this is not a learn to sew video, if you need further instructions, I will advise you to go to sewedacademy.com where you get the first five courses for free if you sign up for the free trial. Do that, come back and follow along with me. Okay, once again, like I said, we'll be doing the order construction for my sew along, which is 2023 and if you turn to the back, you'll see um, the measurements for it, where you see body measurements, and then also the finished garden measurements, which include um, the design wearable easing, okay? Um, the notions will be to the top. You won't need any notions for the hoodie. So now let's go through all the pattern pieces. You'll need pattern piece number seven. Now this is your hood facing. You wanna cut one on the fold, and the fold is right here. Pattern piece number five, which is the sleeve band. You wanna cut two, all of your um, fabric. Now also, you can cut this also out of a rib knit, a matching or coordinating rib out of a rib piece. And you might have to cut it shorter because rib does spread a bit more if you want that kind of style. But you can use the same fabric because it will stretch a bit for your cuffs. Pattern piece number two, this is your pocket. Uh, you wanna cut one on the fold, the fold is right here. Pattern piece number nine, which is the lower band, you wanna cut two of these on the fold, and the fold is right here. Pattern piece number eight, this is the hood lining. You wanna cut one of these on the fold, and you have to be careful because the fold is right here and then you'll cut the rest of the hood out. Now, you can do a lining piece, which is a little lighter, um, of a knit fabric for the fleece or terry knit that you're using, but I'm going to self-face it with the same fabric, okay? So just so you know. Pattern piece number six, this is the hood. You wanna cut one on the fold, and again, the fold is going to be right here on the front. You wanna put this right here on the fold of your fabric. Now, this is the pattern piece that you will not use unless you're using view B. Now, this right here is the sleeve for view B. Again, do not cut this out if you're doing the version with the sleeve band. Now this right here has a more of a raw edge finish. It's the same type of um, order of construction that I'm gonna be doing, but the only difference is we won't be putting the band on the sleeve and we won't be putting the band on the bottom of the hoodie. Now, um, you'll just finish it off with a raw edge and then you will stitch all the way around, giving the illusion that it's hemmed, but with a slick raw edge and that's basically how you do that. So you have two options. You can do view A, which is the one I'm doing, that has a few more pattern pieces, or you can do view B to get that crop look, um, as you can see right here. Now this gray one right here is that view B, and then the black one is the view A, which is a full-on hoodie, okay? So you have that option. So next we have pattern piece number four. Now this is the sleeve for view A. This is the one I will be using, so you will cut two of these out on your fabric. Then we have pattern piece number three. This is your back. You wanna cut one on the fold, and then the fold is basically right here, okay? And then last but not least, you have pattern piece Number one, which is your front, you wanna cut one of these out on the fold, and then the fold is right here on the center front. So now once you have your pattern pieces cut out of your fabric, we can begin sewing. Okay, first things first, we're gonna grab our front piece, and you should have markings for that front patch pocket. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna prep the pocket so we can stitch it onto the front. So right now I'm gonna put this to the side. And you wanna grab your patch pocket and with the wrong side facing up, we're gonna take the two sides where you have the pocket opening and we're going to do a double fold. Now the seam allowance is five eighths of an inch. So you wanna press five eighths of an inch. Really good right here. And then you're gonna tuck under that quarter inch all the way down. 
And once you have it tucked really nicely, give it a good press. We're going to take it to the machine and we're going to stitch along here, catching the fold underneath. Okay. So you want to do that part and then this side. So go ahead and press your seam allowance, tuck under quarter inch on both sides. And then once you do that, we're going to take this side and we're going to turn that seam allowance, which is five eighths of an inch. We're going to do that for both sides. And then we're going to do the top the same way and then also the bottom. So you'll be folding this edge like this. So once you do all of that, we're just going to press it really well, come back and we'll continue. Okay, so I'm back from the machine where I did my top stitching here on the openings of the pocket and then the pressing table. I went ahead and pressed back the seam allowance on the sides and the top and bottom and then I pinned them in place so it wouldn't move. So now I'm about to go ahead and just pin it down to the front piece where the markings are. Okay, so now we're gonna head to the machine. We're gonna start here on the corner. We're gonna edge stitch down, pivot across the bottom, pivot again on the side, back stitch, cut your threads, and then we're gonna do edge stitch across the top. Back stitching at the beginning and also at the end. Okay, so do that, come back, and we'll continue. Okay, now that we're back from the machine, you can see our edge stitch here across the sides, then to the bottom, and then now we have our patch pocket onto our front. So now let's go ahead and grab your back piece and we're right sides facing. We're going to lay them over each other and we're going to pin at the shoulders. Okay, now let's head over to the machine and we're going to stitch across the shoulders using five eight seven inch seam allowance. Do that, come back and we'll continue. Okay, as you can see, I've stitched my shoulder seams. I went ahead and surged off the edge and press that seam. So now I'm gonna move along to our hoodie. So grab your hoodie piece and don't confuse it with the hoodie lining if you use the same exact fabric like me. So what I did was I went ahead and finished off my um, edge here around the curve with a surgeon stitch just to clean it up a bit because we'll be pressing this open. So a right size facing, you want to take your hood and pin it around the top and around the back, okay? Okay, so now we're gonna head to the machine and we're gonna stitch starting up here at the top and stitch all the way down around the curve, down to the bottom, and we're gonna use a 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance. And once you do that, you want to press your seams open, okay? So do that, come back, and we'll continue. Okay, so I just left the machine. I went ahead and pressed my seams open as you can see right here and then on the front side you can see the top stitching all the way down to the bottom. All right so once we have it like this let's set it to the side for just a moment you want to grab the hood facing and then also the lining. So very first thing we're going to do we're going to open this up just like this. So now we're going to take the hood lining and then also the hood facing and we're right sides facing, we're going to pin the facing to the lining just like this. There should be notches where you match up. So it looks like this, okay? So we're just gonna be taking it and turning it across the bottom. Okay, so we head to the machine. We're gonna stitch starting on one end and going all the way around to the other end using five eighths of an inch seam allowance. Do that, come back and we'll continue. Okay, so I'm back from the machine. As you can see, you wanna go ahead and press that down with the seam allowance facing towards your hood. And we're gonna take this and basically with right size facing, we're going to pin along the back side of the lining. You want to match up all of your seams first. 
Okay, so now we're gonna head to the machine and we're gonna stitch using five eighths of an inch all the way around from the bottom to the top here along the curve using five eighths of an inch seam allowance. Do that, come back and we'll continue. Okay, so I'm back from the machine. I went ahead and stitched that and then also I pressed that seam open to get a good press seam. And then now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my hood and my hood right side out. And as you can see, my lining is still wrong side out. So I'm just going to just take this, throw it on the inside, and we're gonna take them both right sides facing. We're gonna pin that facing to the front opening of the front. Make sure your seams are lined up perfect. Okay, so now we're gonna to head to the machine and we're gonna stitch just across this little center opening all the way around using five eighths of an inch seam allowance. And then once you do that, we're just going to pull it back and we're gonna do some under stitching, okay? So go ahead and stitch all the way around using five eighths of an inch seam allowance, come back and we'll continue. Okay, as you can see the center front is stitched. I'm gonna go ahead and trim some of this off. I'm trimming it down to about three eighths of an inch. Nothing too crazy. Okay, so now that we've done that, I'll go ahead and pull this out. Now before I tuck it in to make it the lining like that, I want to go ahead and take this and we're gonna to head to the machine. We gotta take that seam allowance I just trimmed and we're going to move it towards the facing. And then we're going to stitch just on the right side of that seam on the facing side, right at the edge of that seam, okay? And that's under stitching. So we're gonna under stitch all the way around. And once we come back, we're gonna go ahead and tuck this lining inside the hood. Okay, so we're back from the machine. This is my facing and my lining. I went ahead and understitched. And then now you want to take everything and put it inside the hood. You wanna give this a really good press. Okay, so next, now this is optional. You don't have to top stitch if you don't want to, but it will help keeping the, the lining in the hood from separating on the inside. So if you touch and feel right here, there's a stitching line also on your pattern and you can just back stitch and stitch all the way around. And it's basically gonna catch right here where the facing is here. And then you just have top stitching all the way around. Or like I said, you can just keep it without it. And then also along the bottom here, you have notches that match up all the way around and you can just baste all around the neck, okay? So go ahead and top stitch or just press it and come back and we'll continue. Okay, so we're back to the machine. I went ahead and baste around the neck of the hoodie. And as you can see, I did not top stitch along the front, but like I said, you're basically gonna be connecting that stitch here where the facing is, so you'll have a uh, pretty wide top stitch around the center front, but I wanna keep mine a little bit cleaner this time. So now we're just gonna go ahead and pin the hood to the body of the hoodie. So now the right side's facing. I'm gonna actually turn my hood where the lining and the facing is turned out, as you can see here. And I'm going to put the body of the hoodie on the inside and I'm going to align all of my notches. The notches on the side should match up with the shoulder seams. So now we're gonna stitch all the way around the neckline using five eighths of an inch seam allowance. Do that, come back and we'll continue. Okay, as you can see, I'm back from the machine. I went ahead and serge that seam. And then now I'm just gonna turn everything right side out. And now you see the hood attached to the body. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to press the seam allowance down and I'm just going to 
top stitch around the neckline using a quarter inch seam allowance. And then after you do that, this is the bag, this is the front. So now you want to grab your sleeve with the double notch when it's turned right sides facing. So right sides facing, go ahead and match that up. Now we're going to pin the sleeves onto the hoodie. Okay, now that we have our pin sleeve onto the hoodie, we're going to start on one end and then we're going to stitch all the way across until we get to the other side using five eighths of an inch seam allowance. And then we're going to pin and stitch our other sleeve the same exact way. So go ahead and do that. And don't forget to do your top stitch and a quarter inch around your neckline. Do all of that, come back and we'll continue. Okay, so I'm back from the machine. As you can see, I went ahead and attached both of my sleeves here. And I went ahead and searched that seam on the inside. And then I pressed my seams towards the actual hoodie and not the sleeve. So now I'm going to go ahead and turn this right sides facing for the sleeve and the side seam. So right here, I'm going to go ahead and pin my sleeve here and also the side seam of the front and back. I'm gonna go ahead and pin. Okay, so we're gonna head to the machine. We're going to stitch starting on one end, then all the way through the armhole and then down the side seam here using a five eighths of an inch seam allowance. All right, so you want to pin and then sew the other side the same way. Okay, I'm back from the machine. I went ahead and stitched my side seams and under my sleeve and underarm. I also pressed my seams after I surged them towards the back just to get a nice press side seam. And then I'm gonna turn it right side out. Okay, so if this is view B, only thing you have to do right now is to stitch the seam allowance all the way around of the raw edge and you're done with the bottom. And then the same thing with the other view of the sleeve, um, view B sleeve. Just stitch the seam allowance all the way around and you're pretty much done. But if you're doing the full hoodie version like the one I'm doing here, Let's just move this to the side for right now. Now we're gonna grab both of our sleeve bands and then also our bottom band. And what we're gonna do is for the bottom bands, we're gonna go ahead and place them right sides facing. We're gonna pin the side seams here, okay? So we're gonna stitch down on both sides using five eighths of an inch seam allowance. And then we're gonna take our bands and then we're just going to turn them onto itself right sides facing, matching that dart on the side and then pinning. And then same thing for that last one. So we're gonna take these two to the machine as well. And we're gonna stitch on the side using five eighths of an inch seam allowance. So do these then also your band and then come back and we'll continue. Okay, so we're back from the machine and for my sleeve band, I went ahead and surged off that seam allowance. And then now with wrong sides facing, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it onto itself and it's gonna create that band. Okay, so once I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it over my sleeve. And then I'm going to match this seam here with the under sleeve of the hoodie okay just like that and because this is really thick if you don't want to pin it i like to use my clamps as if i was working with leather or something and then i clamp that down to keep it in place then there should be a notch too you want to line that notch up the band is going to be a little tighter a little smaller than the actual opening of the sleeve so it can snap on. So make sure you want to pull and pin or pull and put your clamp on. And if you need to make some slashes on 
your sleeve band, you can do so. But basically when we get to the machine, we're just going to pull and stitch, pull and stitch, pull and stitch all the way around. So you want to pin your other sleeve and sleeve band the same exact way. And then the same way we did the sleeve, you want to do the bottom band the same way. Take your bottom band and fold it onto itself, wrong sides facing, just like this. And then what we're going to do is, is we're going to basically turn it right sides facing, have your band over your hoodie, just like this. I'm just going to clip this the same way, clamp this down the same way. And then you'll see a set of notches. Okay. And then once again, you want to take both of your sleeve and sleeve bands and then also the band of your hoodie. Stitch all the way around using five eighths of an inch seam allowance. Come back and we'll continue. Okay, we're back from the machine. I went ahead and searched off my seam allowance. The only thing I gotta do is turn that down on both sides. You can press it a bit and you're done with the sleeves. And then I went ahead and searched off my seam here. And then last thing you need to do is just press that seam allowance up and then you can top stitch a quarter inch away from that seam all the way around. And then once you do that, you're all done. Now, last but not least, I just want to let you know that this fleece came from Melanated Fabrics and we have a ton of different colors from gray, black, pink, yellow, orange. Um, I think we have red. Um, so go to melanatedfabrics.com. You'll see a bunch um, of this same fleece if you like what I'm using. Okay, so once you press it, and do all of your top stitching around the bottom band, you're all done. All right, congratulations, you're all done. Now be sure to tag and also follow me at Norris Dancer Ford on all socials. See you in the next one.